Hello everyone and welcome back to Grindfest. I am your wonderful host, Fontelman, and some of you may be wondering now as you look at the top corner of my screen, where all my money went? Well, you see, it um, went some places. You know, places. The bison knows. See, this, this guy, he knows. He was here. He saw it. But... I decided to take a moment while I was, wasn't recording and just sort of play around in the game, and, uh, I basically found that, uh, the only thing I want to play right now is artillery, and I couldn't because I needed to record while I'm playing artillery, at least playing the M12. I got the bison, no, and they kind of stuffed some modules in there, but I did kind of pick up a lot of tanks and then sell them almost immediately because it didn't feel like playing them. That's, well, uh, money's gonna get burned in experimentation, so we're, well, that set me back considerably, and it's probably gonna make the grind to get the uh, M40, M43 a little bit more annoying, because, um, well, it's, uh, 2.7 million credits, so, um, that might be something we have to stop and grind for, but, well, can't say I didn't try. But, anyway, let's get back to work, shall we? We've got, still got about 50,000 XP to go until we hit the next tank. And, well, it's not gonna grind itself. What a world it'd be if it actually did, though. Alright, so. And all the boosters. And, since we don't have any money, yeah, this is, we this is all we have left. I have 103 fucking boosters, all for three categories, that I basically use every time I start up the fucking game! So, we have that. Let's get back to clicking, shall we? Okay, well, at least that was fast. Okay, tier 9 game. Big, scary enemy tank destroyers on the enemy team. Lots of medium tanks, and uh, mostly middle tier heavy tanks on the, um, sorry, tier 7 heavy tanks down at the bottom, which, well, honestly, this is, doesn't seem too scary to me, at least direct, at least, well, not directly. The biggest thing I'm worried about is the medium tanks breaking through into the spawn early game and ruining my fun, but we'll see if we can avoid that. We're gonna go... Over there, because this is... I don't trust this flank. We're, we're kind of lacking in our department for medium tanks and things to hold up this area. And the northern part of the map is kind of a medium tank safe haven. So, um... I'm gonna say good luck to you, Mr. Panzer to, Panther 2. And the Steyr Waffentrieger. I have one of those. It's not very good. They buffed it, so it's better, but it's still not the most amazing thing in the world. Well, actually, this tree looks like a pretty okay spot. This is about the same space we were the last time we were on this map, and well, uh, well, we had good luck that game. Okay, so... T-44 has been spotted, and he's kind of wiggling around in front of everybody. The Yaggedy Panther is sitting out in the open! Are we gonna be able to hit him, though? We might. Eh, please stand still, Yiggity Panther. Yiggity Pan- No, Yiggity- Yiggity- Yiggity, stop moving! Stop- Oh. Oh, well. What about the T-44? Unspotted. God damn it. Yiggity Tiger? I can hit the Yiggity Tiger. If I just aim down a bit here. Aim! Ooh. God, God damn it! Fucking rocks! Oh, well now I just feel incompetent. It looks like down here is gonna be a bit of a problem. I got, I got one shot in this general vicinity. Oh, senpai! I have a love letter for you. Please come out of your hole. Here comes Senpai. Wait. Well, you know what? If I fire now, I'm gonna splash him. Good. 
Well, he's stunned. So if anybody shoots him... Come on, Strutzwagen, click him! Cl he's not gonna click him. He's... Eh, whatever. They got it! Never mind! Let's see what else is going on. So that the middle is now open and the T-44 is gonna cut out. Run around completely unopposed! I'm slightly worried! However, this patent needs to be removed. This mutant Type 59 patent hybrid. Well, actually, I could probably click the tiger. I click the tiger! Oh. I think I was, th that was the Lorraine that shot both of our team- uh, shot our teammate. Good job. Click him. Yay! Support damage! You got him. You, you get- you click him. You got him. You, you're gonna click. Good, he clicked. And now I'm gonna click you. Click him! Seriously, click him! Hmm. Well, it looks like, looks like the T-44 kind of abandoned the center of the map. He had an advantage there. He could have really fucked our day over. Oh, look, it's the Yiggity Panther. And he's gonna die. Oh, hello. What are you all doing over here? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Wait, what the fuck are you doing? Didn't hit him, but at least I fucked his day over. Now we got something to worry about here. You see, this is the issue that I was talking about. Now there's nothing on this flank, and the Panther 2 is running the fuck away. Pa Run, Panther 2! Run! No, seriously, run. Keep him distracted. I'll shell him. I'll, I'll, I'll destroy your enemies if you keep their attention. Eh. Eh. Get. I didn't quite get him, but at least they're now running. You see, this is the thing. The medium tanks, our, sp our base is basically wide the fuck open, and the medium tanks are chasing, a chasing down a panther, too. This man is a glorious distraction. I knew he had it in him. Okay. Well, honestly, the Patton is more threatening to the Panther 2 directly. Oh, that's not good. Mm. Yep. Nowhere near. Should have just shot the T-25. He was standing still. Fuck. Oh, well. We live and learn in this environment. I'm not an artillery player by trade, but honestly, I might become one. It's one of those weird things, to be honest. I had this epiphany while playing World of Warships, too. This is the point that they got me into playing carriers, but carriers were a lot more fun. Or at least the Japanese carriers were a lot more fun back when they originally came out, and they could snap, well, ships in half without even really thinking about it. This is a different kind of fun, though. But in the same kind of tactile manner. Hey, 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 you got him? You, you got him? I, I didn't get him either. You, you, you got him. You're fine. Click him once. W once. Good man. Oh, look. It's the pilot. Uh, fucking... Damn artillery review. Uh... Hey! Damn it! Why does he keep getting more seasons? Why? Okay, well, he's in a bit of an odd spot. I can't really... Well, actually, no. Now he moved into a completely okay spot. You keep going, that. You keep, you, keep, you keep going. Keep going. Just keep going. Keep running. The only problem is now, nobody can fucking spot him. God damn it. This is an issue. Wait. Yo, fucking artillery view, stop your shit. Fucking... Where are you... What are you doing? I splashed him with that at least. But now we got a fucking problem. The problem is, now I got no fucking friendly tanks left. And that, that fucking 59 Patton, I should have killed them when I had the chance. Actually, we got the T-28 prototype. That's probably the only saving grace we have here. And a star- Where the fuck did that st Where the hell was that Steyr hiding? That son of a bitch! How did he get over there, all the way the fuck over there, without anyone seeing him? I know they buffed the engine, but Jesus.
And now he's in... Wait a minute. We might be able to pull this one out here. Assuming... Oh. It's a pilot. He must kill the pilot before he inconveniences the T-28 prototype. Or rather... Well, they got him. Okay, so where... Come on, you've got an 88, you can do it, but... Oh, oh, that's a, that's much bigger than an 88, though. Aim! 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 We have to click him! We have to save the Waffle Trigger. He's tracked? Double tracked, actually. I don't think he's moved. Uh-oh. What the fuck? Oi! That's not good. That's all sorts of not good. Oh, this is gonna be a close one. Oh boy. With the love of fucking God, I can't keep a fucking- Uh-oh. You see, that's just all sorts of bad. Eh. 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 We're not gonna kill him like that! We can really ruin his day, though. See, now we got an issue. Actually, the Lorraine's gonna go over there. So... What we got is an artillery piece, a Yag Tiger, a 704... ...and an IS. Somebody. Somewhere. Okay, so... The 704 is probably gonna be skulking around. And he's the one I gotta watch out for, really. Put the camo net on the tank. We're a bush. We're a happy tree. We wouldn't kill anybody. We're completely not a threat. Just a normal happy tree in the French countryside. Occupied French countryside. Remember, it's Overlord. Uh-oh. Now you see, that's just... Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! See? Happy tree. Nothing to worry about. Run away! Uh-oh. Gah! Medkit! Duh! Uh-oh. Duh! Go! Uh -oh. Continue running away! <laughs> ah! Uh-oh. Ah! Oh. We're dead for. Well. I did 1300 damage, though. That's pretty good. But, yeah, my team lost. <sighs> Most of the combat took down at the beach. Hmm. See. I am busy now. I will get back to you later, but, uh, huh, yeah, about that. I'm fourth on my team in terms of damage, and second in terms of XP. Actually, the artillery got all the XP that game. Somebody fucked up. And it probably wasn't me. Though I could have done better. I could have carried harder, I understood that. That T-30 didn't do anything wrong, though. It was not his fault. That panther, he, well, yeah. Everybody did some semblance of damage. The funny thing is, the Panther 2 and the Steyr, even though they did ap they did the worst in terms of damage, they were probably the, probably the most visible in terms of things going on. So they could have potentially won the game for us if we had a little bit more time. Everybody else, though... Everybody else, though, kind of, uh, died in varying states of didn't do much. They did damage, but for some reason they didn't win the game for us. Well, next game... Okay, tier 8 game. A little bit less oppressive, and we have two Oni-chans on the enemy team. Good! Nice big roving targets. Oh, the enemy does have two 304s on their team. That's a little bit discouraging. There will be rampant clicking. 
and we all spawn over here. See, this is not a very... I don't like this map in terms of, well, just general artillery business, because it's... Well, your hiding spot is incredibly obvious. They know where you are. And you could reposition. The only problem is you're going to have a terrible time actually getting a shot. Because you can go over to that village over there. The only problem is then you got to contend with the fucking mountains. And that makes things a little bit difficult. But here you have a... Here you have the optimal area in order to actually cover most of the map. The only problem is you're, the area that you're sitting in is incredibly obvious to literally everyone. Okay, so. Got a pretty good assortment of tanks going south. I had a pretty good assortment of tanks going north. This looks like a fairly good, uh, a fairly good spread of, uh, well, forces going in all directions. And I have a good feeling about this. But they may prove me wrong. And obviously, I can't shoot into the town. The M40, that damn 44 is in, that guy's in the danger zone. You better hope that flank doesn't break. But it looks like... Honestly... The enemy really isn't doing much. Looks like I'm supporting this zone. Well, what the fuck are you doing up there? What the fuck, what the fuck are you... Get out of there. Not even a fucking splash?! God damn it. Two steps out of my fucking splinter range. Well, he's fucking dead. So is that guy as soon as our tanks actually move up. They just left all the tier 6 tanks to guard this fucking flank, didn't they? Hey, Arl. Uh, you, you just fucking stay right there. I stunned him. That was kind of a bullshit miss, but okay, I stunned him. Anybody gonna click on him? Oh, thanks for that. Oh, it's a T-29 over there. I actually stunned him too. Hey! Uh oh, that's dangerous. Mm. I did more damage. Okay, I'll take the 200 fucking damage on the ARL, AR, ARL that I wasn't actually even fucking aiming for. Okay, I'll take that. Now we got a bit of a problem, though. Looks like the South is doing okay, but that Super Pershing is kind of getting kind of funny ideas here. Ding! D29, I, I appreciate you running forward in order to get shot by people trying to stun you, but still. You see the Super Pershing is actually gutting our flank. This is not good! Can we get rid of the Arl? I think we can get rid of the Arl. He's gonna move forward, he's gonna be about there. Coulda did some more damage there, but he's basically... Well, he ain't going anywhere. At least for the moment. That 5100 better be able to kill that fucking Super Pershing. Good. Good man. Now, spot for me, so I can kill everything else. At least the southern flank actually managed to basically destroy everything down there. Good man. 5100! Where are you going? I need your eyes! Oh, he's reloading. 38 seconds? Jesus. Oh, hello. I detect unauthorized logging in this vicinity! I didn't get anything, though, but I probably splashed it if it was moving around. 5100, what are you doing? You're gonna expose our position by hiding like that. Huh. To anyone watching, if you wish to have artillery support your advance, please spot the enemy for us. We will click them. It's our job. Arty campers. Sir, I'm an artillery piece! What do you want me to do aside from camp? You motherfucker, you just stand. Okay, good. At least the, the AMX 5100 still has a gun. At least he can do that. 
It looks like literally everybody retreated down all the way down to the valley. So it looks like I'm not even going to get any more targets. <sighs> well, we won. It's pretty obvious, but there you go. I didn't really do anything terribly decisive, though. I helped. The only problem is uh, I didn't kill anything. They're going to kill everything. 800 damage, not that big of a deal. But I may get some additional spots if these guys keep moving forward. Come on, Jumbo, you can spot for me. You're robust enough. I doubt the SU is still going to be in an area where I can shoot him. But you know what? Maybe. Maybe if we believe, the targets will present themselves to us. Adjust the aim there, so we have a nice shot down this court. Yeah, he's not, you know. Maybe the 304? The 304 is probably southern, southern Island. I'm keeping a watchful eye over you, Jumbo. Yeah, uh, mountain. Well, he's done. The M44 down there is actually moving around. He's doing a pretty good job. He got lucky, though, because that team down there actually managed to survive. So, okay. That was a better game. We didn't do much, though. We stuck a, well, a giant fucking... A giant wrench in the enemy's gears up in the flank. The only problem is there really wasn't any pushing power to really do anything there anyway. Yeah, they got rid of our tanks up there. The only problem is they didn't re seem very decisive. Well, they didn't seem very decisive about what the hell they were doing up there, but that's probably down to the damage we did do to them as artillery. But we didn't really do all that much that game. But, oh well, there'll be better games. And it looks like our crew is at 99%, which is very good. So we'll start being able to actually work on our first crew skill, which will obviously be brothers in arms, because why wouldn't we want our artillery piece to shoot faster? Aim faster, have more accuracy, you know, just be better overall. I'd probably, you know, the funny thing is I probably, if I could, I'd probably take the camo net off and jam, um... You know, uh, in, in, uh, was it upgraded vent uh, ventilation on the thing? You know, because I can't, because it's open top. But honestly, I probably would because a, this is just kind of a you're trying to squeeze every inch out of this machine in terms of gun handling, and being spotted. Well, honestly, if you're spotted as artillery, shit's probably bad. So honestly, the camo net doesn't really do much. It's not like I'm gonna be aggressively hard spotting for people. Or rather, passive spotting for people. It helps. A little bit. But honestly, I would much rather have something that makes my tank generally better overall. Instead of just something that might be useful on an occasion. Hell, I might run food on this thing. Because honestly, I don't need the other modules. I mean, I don't need the other equipment, honestly. Artillery, I think you can actually get away with doing that kind of stuff. The only problem is you could probably use the, the, the you know, the consumables, the rations. But the only problem is they're inhibitedly expensive. You lose money just by taking them. They are hilariously expensive. They're nice. The only problem is they're just too exp they're They're impractically expensive. They are impractically expensive. And also, in a lot of cases, you really do fuck yourself over in normal tanks by taking them. So it's like, why even bother? Those things need to get rebalanced. Like, in, like, just in, like, their pricing. Because, not only, you get yourself out of potentially a fire extinguisher, a repair kit, or a med kit, and you also negative your income for that match. So why would you take these things? The, the only, they're only slightly useful in competitive play, but even then, they're still... It, they're only slightly considerable in cons in competitive play. The only problem is, in competitive play, you've gimped yourself out of a fucking med kit, repair kit, or fire extinguisher, which are now incredibly... which are now much more valuable because you can use them over and over again just by having them. You're not limited 
but you're taking out you're taking up a slot for you to have that. So, um, what's the upside here? Slightly, slightly better performance. It doesn't seem like it really is worth it. Oh, hello, Tiger P. What are you doing? You brave, dauntless man, you. Ferdinand Porsche would be proud. Ooh, 300 damage. Well, it looks like all the tier 7 tanks are out of here. Do not worry, T29. Ooh, look at all that assist damage. I am coming to help you, T29. All you have to do is just remain calm and back out of the way of the fucking tiger so I can shoot him. Back up! Back up! Ugh. Hang on. I accidentally stunned him. Oh well. Oh well, they'll be better targets. At least we still got our spotter there alive, and we just managed to destroy two of their tier 7 tanks for the loss of one of, one of ours. Look at us go. What the fuck is this light tank doing? I got a shot at him, I think. Mm. Went right through the building. He ain't there anymore. Oh well. <clears throat> Chen's back. They're running amok through the city. We lost one of our tier 9 tanks already. T20, if you remain calm, I will be able to assist you. Please do not panic. The health of your tank is important to us. Please do refrain from doing anything stupid. Thank you. The problem has been removed. Please continue onward as you were. Chen! What are you doing? Oh, there's a Type 4 Heavy way the fuck back there, too. He's really scary. IS-6, you might want to turn around, because you've got- Yeah. You, you, yeah, yeah. Into the engine deck. Or miss him completely, but I still stunned him. The only problem is there's no one there to shoot him. A Chen looks like he's a bit even a yeah yeah. That this might be he's behind the fucking building. Chen. Did our artillery piece just who did that? I don't think that was ours. Uh, that might have been ours, but if he did, he just kind of stunned the Yag Tiger. Okay, so now we got an issue. Oh, hello, Mr. Type 4 Heavy. Three critical hits. Amazing! But now we got a big issue. And now I need to move. At least that Ferdinand, that Ferdinand at our base has two kills, but he's being focused on by artillery. And also, the T-49 is apparently team-killing people. What the fuck is going on here? Well, he was a team-killer to begin with. What did the fucking Udez do? Udez. Udez. See, now our base is kind of in doubt here. We maybe need to have to... We probably got a book it here. <clears throat> well, I got him. Now somebody knock him out. We need to go. Uh, yeah, those guys. Those guys are gonna be a bit of an issue. Ferdinand is not in a good position to actually stop them. Well, he is now, but he's probably gonna get blapped. Well, about the only consolation prize is gonna take fucking forever for the Type 4 and the and to get the fuck over here. Well, Yudez, it's up to you! We'll be supporting you from way over there. If I can actually clear the fucking area. Maybe. Maybe fucking can't hit him. I can hit him, though. No. Aim, 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 He's not gonna go anywhere because he's a fucking Swedish tank and he can't move. Uh-oh. Chen! This vehicle has had it. 
Well, we were dead anyway. Well, what an unfortunate turn of events. I could have supported my play my friendlies in the city a little bit better, but um, yeah, they all kind of fell apart because a Type 4 Heavy and a Mouse Chen kind of just uh, made them all explode.